Alright everyone, I'm Ryers, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Let's keep going. Alright, let's see what uh, is in store for us on this ship here. So we're going back to the city then. I'm just worried about Nia. Like, is she, is she, is she going to be okay there? Or did she come with us? Because obviously, uh, Mobius could just come there and kill her. Like, they almost did. I'm just glad the people in the city made it through unscathed. Me too. It's a huge weight off my mind. Oh, hey, Boomer, how's it going? Hum, 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 hum. Da, 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 dee, dee, dee. That's a really cheerful little tune there. Da, 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 dee, dee, dee. <laughs> I've got permission to attack in the final battle against Mobius now. I'm gonna fight too, and I'll be carrying the hopes and dreams of Hewan Gurnika on my back. We've gotta win. Get a load of your mugs right now, looking pretty determined, aren't we? But are you sure you've eaten enough? We need to make it through tomorrow alive to jointly neglect nutrition now. Let's go talk to Simon. Hello again. So about that ultimate vessel you've got. Ah, friends mean old Butte. She tucked away, all cozy in dock number three. What, really? Curious? We are. All righty. Then please follow Sam on to port. Is it already made? Uh, more order for the lost numbers at the castle. Hop for another run? No way, not this time. Hiding Gondor to approve them took years all my life last time. Gondor's safe. Monica re if, isn't really letting it show, but she must be relieved. Her name, Monica never once mentioned that Gondor was her daughter. That was one spark of a surprise. Though she has a position as elder, she wouldn't want people to think that personal feelings are getting in the way. My position is somewhat similar, so I can understand her point of view. But I worry she takes it to an extreme sometimes. So that's the state of affairs. Alright. Relief, yes. <laughs> Is there anyone else to talk to on the way out of the city? Doesn't look like it, okay. So we go down to the Cadencia region. The port, yep. There's still these two here as well that I want to look at. In fact, I think I will now. Just to check them out and see what they are, because I do want to find those extra heroes that I think I'm missing.
Right. Okay. Was that? So is the ship nearby? Yeah, it's down there. Okay. How do I teleport down to there? Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess I gotta swim. Alright. Turn it around. Oh, uh, we haven't been in there either. I don't know if that's actually like a landmark, but I'm gonna check it just to see. If I can. There we go. Climbable. Hey, get a load of this. What'd you find, Lance? Should be able to climb up with that. With what? We might be able to retrieve them. Now to ascend. Big more and more. Is that what I think it is? To the to that thing. Okay. We've never yeah. Seaspray lookout. We we did have a landmark. And there's the the airdrop up there or down there, I guess. Uh, let's go for it because we can then just come back up here now. There's also a container and whatever these things are. Way right on. You're fighting some Gulkins. I'll help the Gulkins. Uh, well, I think I might be tapped on coins, actually. Captain, to not being that's fine. All right, it's over. This is valuable. I'll hang on to it. What would it be doing here? I should probably spend them on uh, uh, at least like ranking up some some hero or some classes. Uh, like you, for instance, D with signifier. But everyone else is mostly higher. You do with Thaumaturge too, so... 
I'll uh, use some coins to rank this one up to 10. Alright, that way I don't get capped on them. Excuse me, don't mind me. Well, we've been found. Nope, never mind. Come here. I got something for you. Perfect time. Don't bother. Like you You're a fire lad. Ah. Couldn't keep them in check. What the? Come here. Yeah. I got something for you. Perfect time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uni, I'm asking you, please work with me a little. You are? Come on, Tyon. You're supposed to be Give following me. Give those guns a workout. This all right? Right, let's fast travel back up top there then. goes down to there. That one over there. Interesting. Okay. That one leads over there as well. Okay. Let's go over here first. Examine point over there. Up top. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. This guy shouldn't aggro on me. Might as well claim this. Eleven levels higher than them, so. Uh, another one. It's the way back. Yeah, it's way back over there. Okay. So is this it for this? There's got to be a way to get up and around, right? Unless, no, this is the top. Okay. That was the examine point. Interesting. Oh, lag. All right, nothing too special on there then. Not like this. Now 
how to ascend. Back across. This is something decent, right? Huh. Yeah, there's that building over there, too. Really, there's just a cable attached to that little little tiny rock there. I think this is how it goes. But now we have another way across, I guess. Huh. Yeah, like how does that even work? Oh, they have another one of those uh, chest things. Probably have to jump off of it and land over there, yeah. Okay. to ascend. Quite a huge pile of husks here. We can't leave it like this. to the relay base. Okay. I guess that... I guess this is just the back way in, then. If we didn't run in from the front. Okay. And then this goes over to there, which leads back around. I think this is how it goes. Yeah. Huh. Hold tight. Are there two of those things down there? No, that's just the one. Okay. Well, instead of going, going back and forth, I'm just going to fast travel over there. Since that's much quicker. Didn't jump there. Okay. Uh, need to land down there. I mean, that works, kind of. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now to ascend. That was close. What goodies are going to be in here then? Mercury rings. What do those do? Boost crit rate by 60%. Oh boy. I take efficiency seriously. Well, I know who that's going to right now. Uh, yeah. Have fun. Is it the best? percentage boost of crit that we have. No, it's not. That one's better. 72% crit rate now on her. Sweet. That's going to help a lot. 
All right, so yeah, that just goes down to there. So I think that's that island area. Let's see if we can go over here though. So let's do that. Uh, it's probably faster from here. Yeah, because the, sh the ship is right here. Alright. What's in this mist? Hello? Can't believe this fog. It's so white, but now I'm not able to see wing in front of face. This looks dangerous to go through. Any sh a honey shoals found close by here. Or we could not want to force ship aground. It's better to wait in, in patience until fog clear. Yeah, I suppose. Oh. Did you see something, Mimi? Just now, there was... I must have imagined it. Mio, Sana, take shifts on watch. Oh? Whoa. Look! No way. The fog's clearing. Oh, what in the world's going on? White fog on Arithia Sea. Well, there's the next part of it down there. Or that. Well, maybe. Let's find out. So this one's just here, okay. On this little tiny island. What could be over here then? Sweet, let's poke around. Ishan Isle. Oh, hello, giant Furanus. Jeez. The heck? A Pharonis. What's it doing here? Doesn't look like it's after us somehow. Wanna follow? Even better. Let's make a big sign saying, We're idiots, please shoot us. <laughs> you what? Give it a rest, Lance. So, what's the plan? Noah? Right. Since it's a Pharonis, it'll doubtless have a bunch of people enslaved to a flame clock. They might not be too happy to see us, though. We'd be lucky if that was all. Consuls, or rather Mobius, could be there too. True. Which is why, whether we follow them or not, we need to think carefully. Just walking around. Is this, like, a rare thing? Uh... Which way did it walk? I think it walked that way. All right. it's open. Oh, looks like a new question mark popped up on the map, so yeah. Let me do the channels. 75, okay. So yeah, it's over there. That was a voice cutscene, which makes me think it's going to be a hero. Or, or related to a hero quest, at least. So I don't think we've been in there. Oh, no ships allowed. I want to see all the sights. Oh, she has a reef ravine. Mid sixties, okay. Is there a, a shard there? Uh, I wonder if these shards are from Origin. Or related to it, at least. Is that over there? That's a purple thing. Take a look. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're not getting that right now. Uh, let's take a look at the purple shard. There are purple lights over here. There's two of them. If 
we can avoid the uh, the Merignas here. Which we should hopefully be able to do. I don't like this fog one bit. Oh, and that disappeared. Those purple things were nothing. Well, maybe it was just one of the, like these these pickups bugging out or something. Right, back to the ship, I suppose. I kind of wish there was a way just to fast travel back to the ship. That the, sh the ship was a landmark or something. I'll have to remember this place for a little bit later, though. where this giant Pharaonis is. See it back there. Is this open before? Oh, this is where we saw like the um just the empty patch of ground before, wasn't it? I was like this is totally a boss arena or is something. This, like Honest before at Ishan Isle. So then that means Mobius might be over there. They could attack us at any time. Let's proceed with caution. Ha! Visitors, eh? Mobius. Oh, what an impulsive pair ye two make. Anyway, cool your heads and have some grub with me. Huh? You eat food if you want energy. Don't go telling me you don't eat now. Yeah, get real. What's this deal? But you're all skin and bones, a lot of you. Right, laddie? All right, steady on. Anyhow, I'm not even hungry. <laughs> I'm not going to bite your heads off, pipsqueaks. Dude, this is this guy. Don't just stand there. Seems very friendly. Um, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. I, I guess we can't just ignore him. I do love the sea, so I'm taking this thing on a trip. Mobius? On a trip? Of course! A man's life is a long journey. Walk your path without a destination, and you'll get little encounters like this one. Yeah, uh, if you think we're gonna trust a Mobius, you're off your rocker, man. Ho oh, ho! Sounds like you're an awful pickle and no mistake. What a disaster for you. 
but you see, Mobius I may be, but I don't got any orders regarding ye. <laughs> I'm a free agent, says I. Anyway, there are things on the sea so tasty they'll make you weep, along with some gigantic monsters. So I arrange for them to be here. Things you land lovers would never dream of. You mean you're mixing the colony up in all this? Just so you can have a bit of fun? Guess you're right. I just love watching the sea from a Ferranus, truth be told. Therefore, free agent that I be, I work as Colony 15's consul with a spot of moonlighting as the commander. The other Mobius tell me rubbish like your name is T. Perhaps it's fate I met up with you lot. So if you please, you could call me Captain Triton. <laughs> um, somebody tell me what's happening? Captain Triton, I get what you're saying, I do, but... Noah, you ain't humor in this windbag. Indeed. Can't listen to any words from this man's mouth. His crazy, reckless schemes will get friends dead, smashed to pieces. <laughs> and what? Once I get an idea, I have to put it in motion. Otherwise, nothing around here would happen. The captain's awesome. He might be an ugly lump, but he can smash a big monster clear into next year. Well, I like a good challenge. So we spend a chunk of time going around it. Wait, who are you calling ugly? Whether they're in the sea or the sky, we find big nasties and biff them up good. Right, gotcha. You definitely called me ugly. <laughs> Look, Mia, we're better off keeping away from this lot. You can't be best pals with a Mobius. Come now, young pup. You only just arrived. Fancy a little contest. A contest? The wind brings me a couple of rumors, such as all of ye being pretty capable. Seeing fellow warriors always gets me fired up. So, it be contest time. What are you on about? No way I'm doing that. Scared, eh? Eh? <laughs> Aye, you're lily livers. Huh. Guess Uroboros just run away with their tails between their legs. That right? Ha! Lily liver. <laughs> Who are you calling lily livered? Just leave it, Lance. You're wasting your time bothering with someone like him. Must be nice for you, leaving one foot out the door, so the sparks won't fall on you when there's trouble. You're frightened of getting knocked down, so you're making out like you're warning him. You try to save face or something, be you so scared of Mobius. That's Lily Livered, or my name's not Captain Triton. I'll give you Lily Livered. Fix settle then. Been looking for someone hot blooded. Happy, make the preparations. All right, men of the sea, Triton's triple challenge. My power vested in Appy. Appy will now explain rules of contest. Huh? You mean we're actually going through with this? Uh, rules are simple. In vicinity of Colony 15, there are three islands. Each island have specific challenge. Team that solves challenge fastest wins points. <laughs> if that's all we need to do, this will be incredibly simple. I totally thought this was going to be a big punch-up. <laughs> Where's your sense of romance? Ain't no contest in a straight-up fist fight. For friends' informations, Colony 15 soldiers wait on each island to observe contest. Contest teams are all of Friends team versus the captain and three others. Hey, so we have a bigger team. Doesn't seem fair. Ye be guests, you see. I'll accept a handicap by way of hospitality. Oi, are you having a laugh? Ignore it. He's just provoking you. 
A man doesn't go back on his word. Now then, all of you, get to it! Friends prepared? First challenge is at Ishan Isle. Talk to Ronya to find out more. Let contest begin! All right then. <laughs> Guess this guy doesn't seem so bad. Happy. We have some new names registered. See, all I see is Happy here, but there's a container. Might as well claim this. Right, anyway, to Ishan Island. Got Horson here. Connie 15, yeah. There's Triton on here. Let's see him. New allied colony data. Is this like a rare thing? Okay. What's the first challenge here? This was a nice find. Huh. There you are, land lovers. The challenge for this island is simple. You get to show us your brawn. Uh, brawn. Welcome to Men of the Sea, the Brawny Deep. There are some beasties in this area known as Gyarks. You have to bring down four of them. It goes without saying that the first to do so wins the challenge. What are you standing around for? Get to it. Jaded in gear, Noah. We'll show them the mother who's boss. Yep, sure thing. We have some new names registered. Alright. Whoa! Got a rare dude all right here! That's all for. And we're done. Did we win? I saw it all. Maybe you aren't such landlubbers. <laughs> <laughs> You're late, Captain. I'm afraid that means you lose. Looks like you're all mouth and no trousers, eh, Captain? <laughs> Look at you. You're knackered. Who's taking the handicap now, eh? I must have ate a bad shrimp or something. That be all. Now on the next one. And don't you even think about backing out now. Set a course for Daedal Oil. Who's backing out? We're the ones kicking his ass. <laughs> All right, to do it a while then. Can we fast travel there? I think we probably can. Uh, close enough. Ah, eh, we're already close there anyway. <clears throat> I guess we haven't actually been there. At least not that part of it. Yeah, we haven't actually been here. Okay. Yeah, this is that end of the island. Okay. 
Right, I want here. Sweet, let's poke Ahoy, welcome to the next challenge. I'm under the sea, booty coals. They'll bring me high quality booty and I'll judge it. Booty? Exactly, I need the most valuable booty on this island. I keep using that word. Yeah, we don't know what you mean. Oh, what's on this island? Surely you could send us after something a bit more concrete. Booty is booty. If you can't have a good booty when you see it, then we're done here. Alright, fine, we'll do it. Let's have a think then. Group talk? Yeah, group talk. Booty? <laughs> Some new names registered. The people have to make so much noise. Okay, there's another. It's probably the Gondor um, quest there, so. Uh, anyway, booty. It's best we talk this through. I'm not a hundred percent on what a booty is. It's like treasure. Yeah, maybe something sh shiny. So how many will find the valuable? Probably. Hmm. Good point. Uh, I think I might be onto something there. Something valuable, and like something that's been around longer than us, oh, like a hundred times older than us. Like what? Are you saying a handful of rocks are more valuable than us? Friend's wrong. The treasure is clearly food so delicious it makes whole face fall off. I don't know. Food's kind of subjective. Different people like different things. I don't think we're going to agree on anything. Instead of finding out what's right, why don't we just collect everything? It's so simple, I love it. Let's get a wiggle on. Alright then. Collect okay. everything. Next on the list is uh, right. Ready. A giant beetle seventy five. Are you mad? Demonic kennel where I think of oh, careful. I think I've heard that name before of a unique monster in one of the other games. This will be our target. Here it is. Yum yum coconut. All right. Over there. Over from top. Okay. Whoa, sky. A formidable opponent. Ooh. Run away. Yeah, okay. You want to tussle? Oh boy. Oh, we can tussle. Swim away. Really Ow. All right. Never mind that. Let's go over here. Four ninety two six. Oh man, they've really gone and done it now. Now oh, you tripped. Why now? Got a rare dude all right here. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> all right, this there's that one. Fighting over there, huh? Now, I guess this quest will be uh, an excuse to explore this place if you haven't already.
How do you like that? That the quests bring you to the places to explore. Whoa, got a rare dude right here. I mean, it makes a sense that they would, but. At least I didn't have to go down there. Well, I, I, actually, no, I did. There was one down there. But thankfully, it wasn't too hard to, uh, to figure it around. This would be our target. Here All right. It is. We're back with the booty. Oh, that was fast, but then what do I expect? Right, let's not waste time. Show us your grot. Found these three things, but... Ah, oh, wait a second. Mate, rude. Well, what I asked you for was boot you the highest value. Whichever way you slice it, there's not only one most valuable booty. There's only one. Not, not two, and certainly not three. So please, pick one of them and pass it to me. Awkward. Well, what do we do? Uh, I'm gonna say the... Amber. I was thinking the fossil, but the amber this is, is what we've picked. more of a gem. A of that. Oh, ho, interesting. We're late again. Yeah, they be here first. <laughs> All right, beef. Taking it easy, are we? Unlike some people, I have a more discerning eye and take my time with things. Anyway, what have you got there? A rock, is it? Ha ha ha! You reckon you'll beat me plonking down a little old rock? Say that again. This is what I brought. Any fool could see it's bigger. Whoa, that is pretty big. Oh, good choice, Captain. This local fruit is said to be jaw-droppingly delicious. Totally true. My nana could have told you that. Hmm, that'll be a win for me, then. Our guests are the winners, Captain. <laughs> what? I did ask for the most valuable booty. What our guests have brought sells for ten times more than that coconut. And while the coconut is certainly delicious, its value is only so-so. Maybe the value is only so-so, but have you seen it? Look at the size, and it tastes fantastic. <laughs> Bigger be better than smaller, says I. <laughs> it's worth more in size, therefore I win. Friend right! Taste alone make it bestest treasure. Hey, whose side are you on, Shortcake? <laughs> Manana will not make fibs. Tell Manana what's more important than deliciousness. Ye can't say fairer than that. I win. No, you did not win. Just man up and accept you lost. Captain, accepting defeat is part of being a man of the sea. Ugh. You've really got me over a barrel here. Well played. But the next one's gonna be mine, you'll see. Come to Cape Arcafor. I'll give you a damn good thrashing. Oh, Cape Arcafor, huh? That man is a few screws short of Elevenis. <laughs> All right. My ship is gone. Uh, where? Oh, over there. Okay. It's convenient that I, uh, explored around here or previously. Ahoy, chums, we've been waiting. Y y y haven't sighted Saru, have you? Saru? No, I don't think so, sorry. Curses, I knew he'd be up to his usual tricks. 
That's Haru. He couldn't find his way if he nailed the map to his bum. That good with directions, is he? He's probably got himself ate up by some monster. <laughs> and that's Honey. Haru is going to do this next part, but I can't help it if he's done a despairing act, can I? So it's up to me to explain the next challenge. The first group to track down a certain monster and bring down it, and bring it down is the winner. That all sounds quite simple. Yep, I find some big footprints. Follow them. Well, best of luck to you. Okay then, let's head out. A certain monster, huh? We've got footprints, two sets of them. Hmm, looks like they're going in different directions. But which way do we go? Good question. Well, there's big. And big. Probably Google footprints. Based on, uh, you know, there being Googles here. To unlock the footprints like I said do. Okay. Come here! I got something for you! Ready when you are! I don't think I have launch on anything. Well, oh, hi Saru. Hmm? Ahoy guests. What's up? What's up? We want to know what you're doing here, that's what's up. That's no good, friends. You're supposed to be taking down that monster. Oh, did I explain that to you already? No, you'd scuttled off somewhere, so we had to get the deets from someone else. Well, that's no good then, is it? If you waste time here, you're gonna lose. We followed the tracks here, numpty. Ah, we got more tracks here. Oh, my. We better follow these then. Good luck, friends. You best not hang about, or the captain will sail ahead. Right. We have some new names registered. Shall we deal with this? Yeah, not right now. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, hello. I don't like our chances. Harkafor Gogol. Those are uh, bursting in. Okay. How about now? There's the verse. Yes! Now that's what I'm talking about! Now that was a bone cruncher, eh? <laughs> Where are the others? No sign. Right, let's leg it back to the Pharonis. Yeah. That buffoon's going to regret making fools of us. Alright, back to Colony 15.
The big lug still isn't here. No. Friends have come back before arrival of Captain. Have to say, Captain is not most punctual. Ugh! Don't tell me we're pipped to the post again. Captain! Captain is late. Is never a good thing to make guests wait. It was a piece of cake. Maybe we should have given you a handicap. Winners of contest are honored guests. Man of the Sea, Triton's Triple Challenge, Part 4. What? The last challenge be a good old punch up. The winner gets, uh, what do I need? Um, seven points. What he said. <laughs> good. Now, put him up. Oh, this is taking the piss. It's called the Triple Challenge. Yes, we agree for once. What happened to a man doesn't go back on his word? <laughs> you be right, he does. But a man always wants more. Ugh, this clod. What crud is he spouting now? It's the same stuff he's been spouting from the start. Huh, Lance! Huh? You better pay attention. Man of the Seas, sucker, punch! <laughs> Lance! You okay? What a bloody underhanded way to start a fight, asshole. Carelessness on the sea gets you killed. A man's gotta pay attention every second of every minute. Sorry, Captain can't be stopped when he gets like this. Friends, watch out or get sucked into Captain Tornado! Nothing, sucker punch. Now you're in for it. Playtime's over, matey! Ha-ha! How about you then? Let's take you all out at once. Alright, let's uh, go after Orson first, I suppose. Good break resistance. Fast recharge field is amazing. So it's settled, right? 
We totally won this bloody thing! Man, what a real mudder of a Mobius. Oh, my aches have aches. <laughs> you bested me. You ain't half strong. It wasn't exactly one-on-one. -on -one. To be sure, I'd have beaten any one of ye in a fair fight. But I feel no ill will. Been a while since anyone knocked me down. Well, I'm feeling all kinds of ill. He's nothing sucker punched me! <laughs> I have a question. If you're a Mobius, you could have transformed at any time, right? So, why didn't you do it? Ah, young'un. Only thing I trust are these old bones on my own two fists. In a brawl, anything else kind of taints things. Besides, using anything else be no fun at all. I feel that. I think. Ah, truth be told, I've been alive so long, I've clean forgot how to transform. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sparks, don't know why I asked. By the by, wonder if I could ask you a favor. Come on, think it's a bit early in our relationship for that. If I let this get away from me now, I might not remember again. I gave up thinking ahead long, long ago, see? Well then, what is it that you need? Ah, well, I want you to smash that big old shiny thing. That's your flame clock. Mate, do you even have a clue what you're saying right now? I've been waiting for this moment. For that thing to disappear, see? Are you really sure? Yeah, tear it down, says I. Well, I'm around to watch it happen. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Seems like five is the max level for that. Finally, you're free, friends. Huh. I know it's a bit late to ask this, but are you sure this is okay? Now, you boys and girls might not be understanding this. I've been a Mobius for a long time, seen and learned a lot about death. The thing with death is, it doesn't care about your feelings. It just comes when it wills. Now, I've seen people who live short but full lives. People who cling to every last bit of life. People who are only too happy to die. I've encountered so many people, I've lost count. But good or bad, they die while I carry on. But... But of course that's going to happen with the way the world is. If I'm going to accept things just because that's how they are, then maybe I've been living too long. Watching the way they lived, I ended up thinking... Wondering what fun these people could get up to if they were free. Something fun. Maybe something stupid. Fun? Sure. I think about Dougie, best strong man I ever saw. Or Serena, nobody loved to see like her. Ghoul had no equal in battle. I knew all sorts of spirited folk, but no matter who they were, the flame clock would end up being their reason for living. I wanted to do something, but not even these boat hooks could put a dent in that blasted thing. You mean you tried to do it as a Mobius? Aye, but nothing came of it. That's when it really hit home that I was a Mobius. I couldn't destroy the flame clock. And after a while, I just gave up. Isn't that ironic? Man, and here I thought you were just some giant without a thought in his head. Turns out there's a bit more to you. <laughs> <laughs> it be true. Getting the old noggin going is not a skill I possess. But round about the time I gave up thinking about anything, I started hearing about you lot. About us? Yep. 
Some idiots going around beating up Mobius, smashing up flame clocks, things of that ilk. Need I explain any more? I knew you were the ones who could release my friends, trapped by that infernal clock. Well, we did do that. Indeed. I suppose you could say that us destroying the flame clock set your friends free. But that doesn't mean that your friends would have got the same lease on life as Mobius. You don't have come out with some trite Four Eyes. <laughs> Four Eyes? My name is Tyon. I be talking about in here. The heart? You mean like feelings? That's right, girl. It doesn't change anybody's lifespan, but in that moment, it's the bonds between us all that changed. But you're a consul. You're telling me something's changed between you and your underlings. I think you know the answer, boy. We be equal now, not tied to each other by time, or who be above and who be below. Equal? Aye, me and ye are equals. We've had a good brawl, and now there's no grudges. So, what will you do now? Good question. I reckon I'll find the next big beastie and beat the snot out of it. <laughs> Hope you got room, kiddies. <laughs> huh? Didn't really think I'd be fighting Mobius. Ah, but I am a big boy. It'll be fine. You mean... you're joining us? Yep. I bet you feel all kinds of reassured. Uh, I mean, you are pretty tough. Wait, wait, wait. Did you forget we're Uroboros? And he's Mobius. You're gonna go against your own kind. Too right. You could live a thousand years and not get the chance to team up with Uroboros and take a pop at Mobius. I may like an odd scrap with some tough ones, but going on some idiot adventure with them sounds fun, too. What do you think, Noah? He doesn't seem the type to have any ulterior motives. There's one. I've a debt to pay ye, and I've decided I'll pay it now. Otherwise, ye softies will get knocked down by the next breeze that comes along. And not because you're planning on punching us when our backs are turned? Nope. When I have a problem with somebody, I be the sort to tackle it head on. I mean, no. You definitely punched me when I wasn't looking. <laughs> have asked with your pesky details. Come on, this is a good deal. All right, you convinced me. You sure? You can't say you hate him after listening to all that. That's true. Okay. You're on the team, Triton. Glad that didn't take long. I like a good snappy decision, so I do. But if you put one foot wrong, we're kicking you out faster than you can say Ouroboros. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I shan't cross my heart. Just you watch, boy. I got me own special power I can help you out with. Oh, yeah? I'll keep my expectations low. I'm guessing Lance is going to be the inheritor of the class. Lene? What happened to Flame Clock? Oops. Guess I'd better relay the tale to my men. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Huh? What is it now? I got feelings deep as the sea, which I like to pound into some tough enemies. Now, I want to fight forever. But when I became a Mobius, that's when I realized that one human life would always have felt too short. I've lived my life in fear, worried that it was too short. But now, a quick scuffle with ye all has helped clear things up for me. I really felt alive. Uh... I'd be grateful. Thanks to ye, I could chart a new course. <laughs> Get out of here with all that, man. Ha! You got it! 
All right. I got some kind of special moves I want to show off. Soul Hacker Triton lands. Yep. Attacker can acquire arts and skills from unique monsters, allowing for a wide range of battle commission. He's a blue mage. Interesting. Triton himself wields some unique arts and skills with various ways to raise his attack, making him an explosive attacker indeed. However, he's also mostly forgotten the various moves he's obtained over the years, leaving only with those arts and skills that he used most regularly. Soul Hacked. Soul Hacker class cannot set master arts and skills. Instead, they possess a special ability that lets them acquire arts and skills by defeating unique monsters. The arts and skills can be further strengthened by meeting certain conditions. You can check these conditions from the soul hack list, access from the heroes menu with Y. Interesting, it's a whole new system here. Soul hackers can change their role using the role skill. And keep your formation in mind. So you're like Poppy, huh? We have some Interesting. Interested. Okay. So why to bring up the soul hack list and check hackable enemies? Okay. So we have those ones. Okay, so we need to... Even if we've taken them down, we still need to uh, take them down again, so. This is going to be interesting hunting down all these, uh, all these arts here. Okay. Movable Gonzalez, oh boy. Gorgeous Mandora. Quite a few in here. So upgrade these. You just uh, heal a specified amount of HP with this art. Deal damage with this art. Use this art a number of times. Okay, and then skills as well. We need to kill these ones for the skills. Oh boy. <clears throat> So I guess this is the reason to defeat the unique monsters, then. It's a lot of stuff. Jeez. Interesting. Um, so, what do you have on right now? Currently an attacker. Um, other arts recover 25% of recharge when art hits. Okay. Use damage up from the side. It's a frontward AoE. And a topple. Okay. And then you've got Captain Strike. Blow down, chance to ignore defense. Ultra boost. Boost damage up by 50% and damage taken by 25%. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, let's put Ultra Boost on that, I think. Um, let's take the off Imperial Punch. Also, let's look at the final countdown. This damage dealt for each Soul Hacker Arts or skill learned. Okay. So the more we learn, the more damage it does. That seems interesting to, uh, to get on. Unlocked. As far as skills, boost damage dealt by 80% each time I was incapacitated. This damage dealt... To Based on the amount of time the battle lasts, okay. Chance to keep recharge when using art. Boost damage that looks like a bit of okay. Cancelling attack, crit damage. Okay, your crit rate is okay, block rate's okay, physical defense is okay. And then you have. Okay. So in that case, um. So its lands is 
the inheritor. Okay, that is that one. We're still missing that one. And this one. And then just this one, which we don't even have anything to n know where that one is yet, so. But these two, I believe, we can get. For now, let's uh, put this on so the, oh, the outfit Walk looks neat, that. I suppose. Alright, so attack. Then need to put someone else on defense, then. I like having Tyons that class. I could take Uni off of Incursor. Put her on uh, Zephyr, I suppose. Sure. Nothing's getting past me. Put on some accessories. Agility, evasion, and then agility. Yep, all right. Agility, evasion when HP is low, and right, oh, this one's just better. So. Of course, it goes back to the top. Just too much dealt when attacking from the front. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Uh, what gems do we have on agility? Boost aggregate generated. Which one's auto attack? Everyone? Okay. Should be fine. Alright, so we have both of you in here now, along with the uh, tie on here. I do want to play as Lens, though. Let's just see how this works. Might as well, yeah? Oh, the cape is neat. Okay. <clears throat> Mobius on our team. <laughs> Hello, cave. We've already been in here. Okay. Right. Just to see how this goes, uh, I do want to find. Okay, this one. One target knockback. These things don't attack and topple enemies. We might as well just unlock these. Asia regions. Hycophantic Galore. Okay. Where would they be? Probably pretty early on, this one. Yep. Always a joy to beat up someone stronger Best than you. time, 18 seconds. Okay. Hello. Well, Nothing we can't handle. Ah, it has me. a thing on it. Okay. <laughs> so hacked. Hard dig. Okay. I, I really didn't expect to have a blue mage in this game. So. Heroes, Slack List, yeah, there it is. Beast Howl, a Lapdog Vis. Yeah, we boost art, aggro generator when using art, okay. So, how do you change the role again? Characters. I should probably put some skills on, shouldn't I? And some master arts. Double bite dig, okay. Right. As far as skills, we need those as well. So that's the roll, okay. So that's how you change it. Class skills, yeah. And then you can change it here. High attack, low accuracy, accuracy and evasion, attacker, okay. Defender, or evasion tank, okay. 
heal balanced. Okay. That's really neat. You can just change their role. Alright, I guess let's go to the next one here. Take it down. We have killed it before. This one. This also seems like a, um, a, a basically a compendium of all the unique monsters in the game. Always a joy to beat up someone uh, stronger I wonder if yourself. the uh, super bosses give a skill. Here's a tough customer. Nothing we can't handle. Who's with me? This is our battle to win. There we go, it's dead. <laughs> Soul hacked, beast hell. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Oh, all right. Well, I, I'm gonna leave this episode here for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. And take care.